Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well, and I'm super excited to be back today with a bins video. I absolutely adore the bins, aka the Goodwill Outlet. This is a place that is so cheap and like such a great treasure hunt. So if you don't know the bins, you are digging through these giant blue bins full of donations or excess inventory from other Goodwills. Lots of things. There's so much that not all normal Goodwills can handle that kind of inventory. Things make it to the bins and then you can buy them at a discounted rate. My personal bins is $1.59 per pound. So you're paying for the weight of what you pick up rather than the items. So I have so many things here behind me. I got about 30 different pieces of clothing plus tons of shoes and accessories. So we're going to have a great haul today. Because everything is by the pound, a lot of these pieces cost me like a dollar. Most things are going to be $2 or under. I would say for the whole haul, we're looking at about $1.50 per item. So I have a great room for margin on these pieces that I pick up in the bins. And I also found Givenchy today. So I was so excited that I could find some great pieces in the bins. I've found so many great brands before. We've also got a lot of bread and butter here too. So it's going to be a good video. If you guys like thrifting, bins content, all of the things. Make sure to give today's video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. But let's jump into the haul. So shall we start with the star of the video? He is not going to resell for a ton of money, but I did find Givenchy in the bins. Look right there. I am so proud of myself. So excited about this. This is the Monsieur by Givenchy brand size 17 neck 34 slash 35 it's 60 percent cotton and 40 percent polyester and this is just a very nice button down shirt the coloring of this is kind of like a dark charcoal gray black and then we have a stiff collar and then there's a little bit of texture to the fabric as well so it's in great condition and it looks like it has been well taken care of it's a nice shirt a nice formal shirt and I just literally was so excited. I love selling things that are designer level. This isn't the first time I've seen Givenchy at a thrift store, but it's the first time I've been able to buy it. The only time I've seen this brand was a pair of shoes, which would have sold for a lot more than this shirt, but they also would have cost $120. So left those behind. But this for $1.50 in the bins, I'm very pleased with. And I'm looking at for something like this. I was just looking at comps before this video and it looks like this will sell around $35 but now I can check that name off my list and that makes me really excited. So I grabbed this piece and hopefully we'll make about 30 bucks at the end of the day. And then next up here is a piece that I love finding in the bins and that would be like any sort of wool or wool blend coat. I've sold so many for good money, like $50 to $80 to $100. They usually sell for at least 50. And this is a brand that I like to pick up their wool coats in the bins. It's Anne Klein. And it, as you can see, it's just like a nice kind of pea coat, button front little coat. And this was assembled in the Dominican Republic. It's an Anne Klein coat in a size six petite. So that is what the tag looks like. I pass on a lot of Anne Klein just in general. But for a outerwear piece in general, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. Oh, and this is actually 70% wool. It's 20% nylon, but it's 10% cashmere. So it's a cashmere wool blend pea coat. I expect this to probably sell right around $75, which is a great pickup for in the bins. And I know at least at my location, there are always so many coats left behind because a lot of the people that are also looking and reselling there, they don't like to pick up things that are heavier. So I'm much more willing to pick up something like this, like a coat that's heavy, made of good quality materials, and then sell it for more too. So you just kind of have to pick your battles. Do you want to pick up a lot of light things and really have that huge profit margin? Or do you want to pick up a few things that are a little heavier like this and be able to make a little bit more money on them? And so I chose make a little bit more money for for sure. So I like to grab things that are heavier in the bin. That's a good tip for you if you're going to the bins. And then we have here one of my favorite brands to pick up in the bins and I always happen to find tons of it there. This is an amazing Polo Ralph Lauren piece. I do really, really well reselling this brand, but especially like a chunky sweater like this. This is a gorgeous green colored chunky sweater. It's coming off a little bit muted like on the screen. It's a really beautiful bright green color. We have the logo there on the front and then this to me looks like a vintage Polo Ralph Lauren piece. Look at that. It's in a size extra extra large which is an amazing size. I tend to sell 
these things really well, especially in the larger sizes. Oh, it is vintage, made in Hong Kong. Dead giveaway that it's vintage and it's 100% cotton. So the last time I sold a chunky knit vintage sweater from Apollo Ralph Lauren, I think I sold it around $50. If this had more intricate like details, it was knit with a pattern, I could sell this for over 100 So not something to sleep on for sure and you can also wash this at home so that's really nice i'm expecting around 50 to 65 dollars for this and she is in great condition i think she's perfect for christmas time so i gotta get her listed and then for the life of me i can't remember if i've shown these in a past bins haul or not but i even if i have let's just take a moment to appreciate the beauty of these shoes once more perfect season to list these i need to get these up these are a gorgeous pair of leather boots with this amazing like sheepskin almost like shirling inside that's white so you can wear it up like this and have a tie at the back or you can fold it over it is stunning these are brand new so these have this huge like stacked heel on the back but look at the bottoms guys these have never been worn and they still have the sticker right here if somebody tried these on in a dressing room i think that's the only wear i would consider on these these are in a women's size seven. Oh my gosh they're real sheep fur that is really good too um but these are from eddie bauer and i don't pick up a lot of eddie bauer but these are a gorgeous pair of boots in excellent condition they still have the packing on the inside here to keep the shape of the foot like they've not been worn they're so pretty and again size seven i'm expecting to get at least 50 dollars for these maybe more like 75 i could be wrong but these are in gorgeous condition real leather, real sheepskin. This is amazing. Like, aren't those so good? I probably paid like a dollar a piece. That's amazing. So let's do some other accessories while we're at it, shall we? Right here, we have a little Vera Bradley clutch. It's kind of like, um, I would have to say it's a clutch size. It's a wallet kind of look to it. We have extra zippers. I do pretty well reselling Vera Bradley. Not all of it sells, but I think this is a pretty good pattern and in really good shape, actually. We have lots of little card pockets interior pockets, exterior pockets, zippered pockets. It's in good shape. And then it also has that magnetic closure on the front. So really nice piece. I'll probably be able to resell this probably around 15 to 20 bucks. And then I also found this really pretty scarf. I find so many of these in the bins. I don't know why. And it's always the same brand. And I guess it's not really a brand, but they always have this same tag on them. So if any of you guys know where this is from, please let me know. I feel like I have found this exact scarf so many times different patterns, but from this, whatever brand says this on it, this is 100% cashmere made in Scotland scarf. And it's very Burberry-esque. Like, is it a ripoff? Probably. It is very nice. It is cashmere. It's really soft and it's in good condition. It does have that little like mark right there. You probably could see it when I was holding it up. But other than that, I think it's in really good shape. And it's a really pretty scarf. So I think for this, I could probably include words in the title like Burberry-esque or Burberry-inspired. I don't normally do that, but for such a piece like this, where it is a good quality and also um, not actually saying Burberry anywhere on it, it's not really like a replica, but inspired for sure. But I think this is a really gorgeous scarf. I would say I can probably resell it for being cashmere at 25, maybe a little bit more, but so pretty. Grabbed that for about a dollar. And then we have a few hats here as well. This one, I'm kind of debating if I'm going to resell it or if I'm going to take it straight to a buy, sell, trade store. Um, it's just a little tie-dye Vans bucket hat. Bucket hats were really hot this summer, but I thought this was a kind of a cute style. I liked the pattern. I like the color scheme. So I grabbed that, and I probably will just take that to buy, sell, trade. And then we have this little beanie pullover hat. And this is by a brand that I was not familiar with, but it's this really nice chunky knit. I love the color scheme to it, but it's by the brand Dakine, Dakine, D-A-K-I-N-E. And this is what the brand looks like on the inside. Usually hats like this won't include this interior tag unless it's more high end. And I looked at comps for this and I think it can resell for around 20 bucks. So to pick up a hat that is so light in the bins, I said, heck yeah, definitely will do that. And then I also found this tight lice hat. I could totally be saying that wrong. I know that I am not the premier um, sports person, but I believe this is for um, golfing, if I'm not mistaken. We have tight laced, <laughs> tight laced? We have tight laced on the back here, but then on this side, it actually has the FJ logo. So I believe this is for Foot Joy. So I'm not sure if it's a collab, but it says Pro V1 on this side as well. 
but both this brand, Tight Lice, and Foot Joy are both really good menswear pieces. So I decided to grab this in the bins. I was like, yeah, for sure. And then I'm probably expecting right around 25 for that hat as well. I love picking up hats in the bins. I know a lot of people just pass on them, but they're one of my biggest seller from bins items just because they're so light. And I sell hats all the time around 18 to $25, which gives me profit on each hat around 10 to $20, which is not bad at all. And then next up, we have a brand that I personally like picking up doesn't always retain its value super well but I could not leave it there in the bins for such an amazing price this is this gorgeous black sweater it's really nice knit it's got some things stuck to it as you will find in the bins but this is from Bloomingdale's so Bloomingdale's very expensive store don't know why, but it doesn't always sell or resell very well, but size extra large and such a good fabric. Like this is thick, this is nice and comfortable and soft. And this is 100% merino wool, but it feels like a really soft merino wool. It has ribbing on it, and then the sleeves are a different texture. It's just more like an kind of like soft cashmere looking piece on the back and sleeves, and then more of a chunkier ribbing on the front. I just thought this was so beautiful. It's in really good condition. If this is machine washable, I'm gonna throw it through the wash first. That's my hard part. Some things in the bins I just can't wash unless I wanna get them dry cleaned. I have some other ways to do that, but um, I do think this is a really nice piece. For Bloomingdale's, again, harder to resell, but I would say I'm gonna list it around 50, and I might not make that much. It might be more like 25 to 30, but maybe I'll aim a little high on this piece because I think it's so nice, and I love the collar. It's so cool. So, love this piece, and at the very least, maybe I'll give it to somebody as a present because this is really nice. <laughs> And then we have one of the only pieces in my bins that I think came from an actual Goodwill. My personal bins location gets a ton of donations, but this one has an old Goodwill tag attached to it. So it must not have sold at Goodwill. This is from Loft and Taylor Loft, and I pass on so much Loft in the bins. If I picked up all the Loft in the bins, my literal basement would be overflowing with Loft and Ann Taylor. There's so much of it there. I did think that this was a pretty sweater for this Christmas time, and I love the little jewels on the front. I think it's really pretty. It's in a size medium. It's a nice navy blue color, just a well-made sweater, and I'm sure that this has a good blend of fabrics in it if I picked it up. Yep, it is a wool blend sweater, so we have 31% wool in this as well. So, gorgeous piece, wool in it, nice for, definitely for the Christmas and like winter time. I think it's gonna be popular. I'll probably only resell this around 25 to $35, but again, for picking things up in the bins for only about a dollar a piece, I think it's worth it. Okay, so let's go back to shoes and accessories. I picked up two different pieces of slippers while I was there. These I thought were really cute. I need to get these listed. These would make a great stocking stuffer. And I like to find new with tags pieces in the bins because I just find that they move quickly. These were only originally like $15. They're from Joe Boxer. So maybe I'll just keep them for myself because they are my size, but I thought those were really cute. They are reindeer, very soft, and they're in a women's size 9 slash 10. So I thought those were cute. And again, new with tags. So about a dollar, maybe less into those. And then I also found this really cute pair of Victoria's Secret slippers. So these are this red kind of velour velvet with a big red pom-pom on the front. And these are in a Victoria's Secret size medium, which I would have to look up the shoe chart, I think, because they don't actually tell me what that is. But my guess is it's probably like a 7-8. That's probably usually a medium, in my opinion. But these look like they've never been worn, at least probably not outside of a house. Look at that one especially. Like, really good condition, really soft, and it looks like they'll be really comfortable. Like, see the squish to the bottom? So again, I'm thinking Christmas present, or just Christmassy in general. But I'm expecting probably to resell these. Eh, 15, 20 bucks, that'd be good. And light, we love it when it's light. Now, this I am really excited about. I grew up absolutely loving Polly Pockets. So when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I'm buying that no matter what. I'll keep it for my future children. I don't care what's going on. It's been crushed a little bit by um, my piles of clothes. But this is what it looks like. I thought that this was a lunchbox. But guys, it is not a lunchbox. So this is Polly Pocket on the front. And then you go to unzip it. And I realized when I went to unzip it that this is new with tags. And this is the dazzling doll case. Which means that this is not a lunchbox. This is a way to carry 
your Polly Pockets. Isn't that interesting? So Polly Pockets are these small dolls. You can stick a doll in each of these little slots. And then there's more up here as well. So we have some on the bottom and then there's all these around the edges. So this is an adorable way for you to carry on the outside. All of your dolls are secure so they're not gonna like flop into each other. And then you can put all your clothes in here too. So cute. New with tags and the best part about this too Oh my gosh, it's an old Toys R Us logo. On the, there's like a tiny, can you see that tiny little sticker? I can tell by the R that that was a Toys R Us logo. But since it has this tag, I have a copyright. This was sold and copyrighted in 2003. Love that. This is like my childhood. And then you can see right here what the dolls inside would look like. I had that car too. Oh my gosh. If, you, if this is bringing back anybody else's memories, let me know. Because man, this is literally like giving me life right now. <laughs> Gosh, so good. I absolutely adore this. So I grabbed that in the bins. I think I probably, this is so light. I probably paid less than a dollar for this. In new condition and new with tags. So cute. I love the shape. I have no idea what this will sell for, but I think it's absolutely stunning. It's adorable. It brings me lots of joy. Um, so maybe I'll keep it, <laughs> but if it's worth like $30 or more, I'll probably resell it. But it is vintage on the cusp of being vintage. Um, as soon as we hit January 1st, it will be vintage. So who knows? It might be worth reselling. Let me know what you guys think down below. Should I sell it? Should I keep it? Then next up, we have a North Face piece. Love finding North Face in the bins. I find it quite often. This is a popular piece from them. I sell it all the time. It's called the Denali jacket. It has this more like nylon-y kind of weather resistant fabric up here in like a box shape. And then the bottom is a fleece. Now, this piece I picked up and it wasn't until I was putting on the hanger that I realized that there's no zipper. It's missing, oh, there is a zipper. OMG, one second. So I struggled off camera for a little bit. There's a zipper at the top. If I can get this down and get it to work, I can resell this whole thing for probably at least 50 bucks. These sell really well for me and usually pretty quickly. This is the right time of year and it's black in a men's size large. So a great size for reselling. If I can get the zipper to fix, then it will be worth a good amount. If I can't, I'm going to have to sell it just like as an open jacket, which I still think I can sell it for like $20, $25. So either way, I think it was worth picking up, but I really hope I can get that zipper down. I'll let you know on the screen if I can get it done before the video goes live, but I will keep on trying. If you guys have a trick to get the zipper to go back down, let me know. Thank you. And then we have here a Disney piece. Y'all know I love picking up Disney items. This, I don't actually know what this is. So if you guys know, would love some help. It says Disneyland Resort, Walt Disney World in a size medium. And then on the front here, it says Summit Team for Expedition, Legend of the Forbidden Mountain, Disney's Animal Kingdom. So I don't exactly know what this means. I've never actually been to Disney World or Disneyland. I know it's very sad. I would love to go. Um, but this is what the patches look like on it. And then there's also on this side, it says ARS in Nandapur Rail Services Summit Team. And then it also has this on the back. I literally have no idea what this means, but I sell Disney pieces or unique Disney pieces all the time for like $35. So I would expect $35 for this unless I find out exactly what the heck is happening. If you guys know what the Summit Team is, let me know. And then we have another exciting piece. Um, probably about a year or two ago, I found three different stained Ariana Grande merch from her sweetener tour. They were sweatshirts all in like a size like two or three X. Those all sold for over $100 a piece, even though they were stained. So when I found this in the bins again, I was so excited. Now it's been a hot minute since this tour. This happened right before the pandemic, so 2019. Um, but I do think that this should still sell. You can see at the top here, it's from the Sweetener Tour. And then it's in a size small. And it's just a long sleeve shirt. So if this was a sweatshirt from that tour, I think I could get more money for it. But I found it in the bins for like a dollar. So I'm expecting to list this around 25 to 35 and hopefully sell it around like that $30 amount. So then next we have this sweater. It is from J. Crew, which I love selling and finding in the bins is always great. This one's in a size medium and it's this kind of fun, chunky knit sweater with that kind of lace up neckline detail. It's a great color. We love like a cream. It's a great matching color. And this is actually a linen blend, which is very interesting since it's a knit. 
but it is 55% linen and 45% cotton. And I have found this same sweater quite often while thrifting, um, but sometimes it feels weird, like if they washed it wrong, if they washed it wrong, then it won't be soft. But this is really soft, in great condition, literally feels like they haven't worn it. So I would say I could probably list this around $40, maybe even 50, and probably get at least 35 for a linen blend nice sweater from J. Crew. And then we have another linen piece actually, and this is from Talbot's. And I have been finding so much Talbot's in the bins, and it's been selling surprisingly fast and well for me. Like all the pieces were selling for around $30. So when I found this, I decided to grab it, even though I normally would pass on skirts. I'm not a huge skirt seller. This is a gorgeous little linen skirt with some metallic thread throughout it. Can you see the silver thread shimmering? If you can't, trust me, it's there. Um, but this is from Talbot's in a size eight. I believe this is like a vintage logo from them. So I think it would do better if it was a new piece. But you know, for the bins, you take what you can get. But this is 96% linen and then 4% other fibers. That's probably the shiny part coming through. So it's mostly linen, it has a zipper on the side, and it's just like a nice little fit and flare skirt. I'm expecting for this to probably be able to list around 25, hopefully make 20 bucks off of it. And then I was actually surprised. I don't normally pick up like bras or things like that in the bins unless it's like a Lululemon or a sports bra or something. But I was excited to find this bra and I thought I would share it with you guys because this is actually a good bolo brand. It's Third Love. So right here on the front, this is their little insignia and it's on the front of most bras. And then we also have on the band where it says Third Love. This is a more expensive bra brand and it's really popular right now. So if you find something like this, they can resell probably around 25 to 30 bucks. Sometimes a little bit more, depends on which one you find. But a lot of people pass on bras because they just don't like picking them up. Especially some men don't, but I mean, it's just it's just a bra. It's like a piece of clothing, it touches you. That's what it does. This is the 24 seven memory foam full coverage bra in a 40C. So I'm gonna look up exactly if that style is more like desirable than others. And then I'm hoping to make at least $25 from this. But again, we're going by weight in the bins, so I'm probably going to be able to turn like 50 cents or less into 30 bucks, so I don't think that's bad at all. And then we have a J. Jill piece. J. Jill, I do enjoy reselling. I don't pick it up for very much. In my opinion, it just doesn't resell for tons of money, but it does depend on the piece. I actually picked up two pieces. As I was hanging up the second piece, I saw a hole in it, so I had to get that one gone. But I did keep this one. This one is fine. It is a gorgeous little dress. And then it has a seam going across the front right here, which gives you a good shape. And then I don't know what to describe this print as. Is it like a feather? Is it a leaf? Is it a floral? Like, I think it's a petal maybe, but it's got a nice cut to the V-neck. And this is from the Wherever collection from J. Jill in a size medium. So there's the tag. I would say I have sold a couple dresses, a couple tops, all around $25. So this I'm expecting to sell around $25. And this one feels really nice. It's 95% rayon and 5% light crust spandex. So really stretchy. I really like this brand for comfort wear. They really know how to make something comfortable. And I thought this was a beautiful dress. I love the color. It's knee length. It's black and white. Very classy. So 25, maybe 30 at the most. And then again here we have something um, extremely light. I picked up two different slip dresses. Now, I have sold so many slip dresses from the bins. They're really popular right now. Girls are loving wearing these over turtlenecks for winter, and these are so cheap to pick up. So even if you're not in the bins, like if you're at a regular thrift store, I would consider picking these up at all times if they're in good condition, especially if you can find ones that are actual silk. This is this gorgeous blue color. I love this, and this is in a size 2x which is amazing it's harder to find these in the larger sizes but this one has this fun crossover detail to the back here and so i thought this was a great pickup really pretty color and i love the details at the neckline so i'll probably be able to sell that for around 25 dollars. that's probably where i'll list it and usually honestly these kind of sell outright for me and then the second one here is a black slip dress really cute. It doesn't have a slit on the front, I don't think, but this is what the neckline looks like, and it's very interesting. It's kind of like a, a little bit of a scoop to it, and this one is also vintage and in a size extra large. 
So both of these were vintage slip dresses. I'm just going to mark them as vintage and then put them under the slip dress category and list them both around $25. And honestly, we'll probably sell them right at that $20, $25 line. And then I feel like I've been finding a lot of linen maybe in the bins this trip, but I found this pair of little linen shorts. I know it's not the best time of year to be selling shorts, but I list things all year round, mostly because people buy things all year round, but also I can relist things really easily because I use Posher VA. So once summer hits, I'll relist these again and already have all the work done. But these are from the brand Sanctuary, and I've done pretty well reselling Sanctuary. These are in a size medium. They're a great hunter green color with the tie, and they are 55% linen. So grab these. I'll probably be able to resell these around 30 bucks, maybe 20, 25 at the lower end. If you guys can hear my neighbor's dogs barking, they do this all the time, and I'm just gonna power through. I'm sorry if you can hear them, but this is a gorgeous pink champion tee. I find these all the time in the bins, or just champion in general, and nobody else picks them up. I've sold so much champion, not for a lot, but I've sold a lot of it, and that pays off in the end. This is a gorgeous, like, raised applique. I love the blue and the pink. I think it's so cute. And it's this gorgeous pink colored t-shirt and it's in really good condition really thick and then we also have the champion logo on the sleeve this is in a size medium and it's in really good condition i think this is a really fun color and it's definitely like a men's size medium so it fits like a unisex size and i think it's so cute i think i'll be able to resell this around 25 bucks and then we have a canadian brand which i have been finding more and more recently which is very interesting but that is Roots, and I know that this is so popular in Canada. My Canadian friends, let me know, sound off in the comments, but I thought this was so cool to find this in the U.S. It has the drawstrings at the waist, and then it has Roots written across the booty. Like, how cute is that? And then it has kind of like a jogger style to the bottom, but the last Roots piece that I picked up, I think I resold for around $25 or $30, and that was a sweatshirt. So I think for these, since they have that cool logo on the butt too i think i can get like 35 to 50 bucks for these i think they're super cool i'm not seeing a size on these but i would say that these look like a medium like a unisex medium for a sweatpant and i just think they're so cute and look at that cute little little velvet beaver is that so sweet i love that so for these hopefully we'll make a good amount of change on those and i think they're in great condition and honestly kind of hard to find in the u.s so happy with those and then we have two cutie pie little tank tops. I um, love picking up things that are light in the bins and things with character. This is like a handmade, homemade knit crochet top. It's interesting. It's cool. It's very um, hippie-esque. I kind of love it. I'm going to have to make some um, guesses on sizing for this because it is handmade. There's no tags in it, but I think it's pretty sweet and I think I can resell it for at least $25. And then I also found this cute little Nickelodeon cropped tank top. And this is, I believe, isn't this Angelica's friend? I think it is from the Rugrats. Pretty sure. But what the heck is her name? I can't for the life of me remember. If you guys know, let me know. It's such a cute little like Y2K moment. I feel like this is going to be really popular with the youngins. And it is such a cute light purple color. And this is in a size large. I know so many teenagers that would rock this. So I think I can get like 25 bucks for that too. Nostalgia really does sell things. And then we have a pair of Free People jeans. Love finding Free People in the bins. It's a size 28. And these are like a light wash button fly pair of denim with distressing on them. I think these are so cute. You know, a women's size 28. I think these should probably resell right around $35, maybe $40. But they're in great shape. Lots of fun details to them. They are a skinny leg, which isn't as popular right now. But trends always come back around, you know. So I think that these should get me around 35. And then I found a matching set, which is kind of rare for me in the bins. So I have here this kind of camo green hoodie from Pink, oversized for sure, in a size extra large. And Victoria's Secret Pink does well for me. It does. And what's even better about this is it has the same size matching pants. So these are a jogger style in the same camouflage with the same logo along the leg. So you know, originally, these were probably like 50 bucks a piece. This was probably like a $120 set in total or something. And I found it in the bins. So I probably paid like 
five dollars or less for both pieces and actually camouflage is really popular this is so comfy so cute i'm thinking for both of these together i can probably list this around 50 to 60 dollars and probably get 50 bucks for this at least maybe more i think it's really cute it's a good size and it's a good set so we'll see how that goes but i was excited to find both pieces because i probably would have still picked up each individual one if they're in a size extra large in the bins but to find them both together was really good and then um okay is this not so adorable <laughs> this is from michael kors and it's in a size 24 months and i just i couldn't leave it there it was this amazing little puffer coat in red from Michael Kors, you know, nothing to sneeze at, a good brand, not even Michael Michael Kors, just Michael Kors himself. So for that, I'm not sure how much I can make off of a little kid jacket, but for in the bins, this probably cost me like 20 cents, maybe. And I uh, was uh, happy to pick it up in the shell. It's just, everything is polyester on it, but it is a really cute little jacket. And I know somebody needs this for their little boy or a little girl too. Somebody needs this for their child. Look how cute. I can't. It's adorable. So I grabbed this for, you know, less than 50 cents. And hopefully we can sell that for maybe, I don't know, $25. I think I could get 20 somewhere around there for this. Maybe more. I need to look up comps, but I thought that was such a cute little piece. And then we have another piece that I picked up based on style. This is a gorgeous black silk tank top. And it is. It's 100% silk. It's from Nine West, which is a brand I skip almost every time. I would say 99.9% .9 of the time I skip, but I picked this one up because this style is really popular right now. It's like a Y2K 2000s style, has this gorgeous like bodice, and then I picked it up too because it's a size 12 and a 100% black silk. So I thought that was really pretty, and so I grabbed that. I'll probably be able to list this around 25, and I have been selling these for around 20 bucks. So again, picked it up so light because it's silk and a tank top, and I'll be able to make a 20 bucks kind of turnover pretty easily on that. So we've got a few more pieces. Hang in there. If you guys are liking it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. This is a really good bread and butter brand. Something I pick up in the bins every time I find it. Sometimes at a regular thrift store too, if it's like five bucks or under. And this is Soft Surroundings, which is a really nice brand. This is a gorgeous green colored piece with these little wooden buttons down the front. There's the Soft Surroundings logo. It's a size large. And then we also have these little buttons at the sleeve and they're also wooden. So really high quality, really soft piece. And then we also have this logo, little metal detail on the back. It's like a little cloud. And this is just a really nice piece. I think it's really high quality. It's 97% polyester, 3% spandex, and just a gorgeous green color. But the brand is why I pick up most things. I do pick up some things based on style, as you just saw. But Soft Surroundings is a great brand that I would pick up 100% of the time in the bins, as long as it's in great condition. Now, this is a brand I didn't know. And I picked it up, and actually I think maybe GU was here with me the day I went thrifting at the bins. She picked it up and handed it to me, and I liked the, the knit to this. I think it's a really fun knit, and it's this very interesting kind of cream and white color, super thick and chunky. And this is by the brand Claudia Nicole, which I still need to do some more research on. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a hot minute since I was at the bins for this trip, but this is in a size extra large. And it's a really, really soft sweater because it's 90% super wash merino wool and 10% cashmere. So I picked it up because it's a really nice blend of fabrics, but I'm not familiar with the brand. So I'm going to look up more about the brand, but since it is super wash merino wool and cashmere, I would say I can get at least $35 for this, maybe more like 50. If the brand turns out to be a desirable brand, maybe up to a hundred. It really is going to come down to that brand though, even though the materials themselves will allow me to probably get at least $35 for the sweater just as it is. Okay. And then we have another J. Crew piece. This is a nice little button up in a Buffalo check, a really cute little blue and white Buffalo check to be exact. And it's from J. Crew. It's a men's piece in a size small, just mostly cotton. And it's the perfect shirt by J. Crew. So I sell these button ups pretty regularly for around 20, 25 bucks. So I'll probably list at 25, but it's a nice little lightweight cotton button up from J. Crew. Pretty good bread and butter piece. And then in the same bin that I found that linen Talbot's skirt, I found this amazing vintage Talbot's two piece set in this like raspberry color. 
she is so pretty we have buttons down the front and it's kind of like a suit top but this is made out of pure silk so all of this is 100% silk and this is in a size 6 for the top and I'm pretty sure the bottoms are also in a size 6 they are and again these are pants so I'm glad that it's not a skirt set I like that it is a two-piece pant set and these are like a wide leg beautiful colored pant I think this is stunning we have a zipper on the side and then with the matching top I think that somebody could rock this I would unbutton this put a shirt underneath and wear these high-waisted such a look gorgeous color it is a hundred percent silk vintage Talbot I love it I think that I might just mark this as vintage because I think that vintage will do better than Talbot's will for this and probably I'll list this high I'm gonna list this at least like 75 maybe a hundred bucks because it is vintage silk two-piece set really beautiful color I thought that was such a beautiful find I love this so let me know what you think is it cool or is it a little dated I think it's really cool I think it's beautiful okay so we have one more piece of clothing and then two bags and that will be the haul so again make sure to give today's video a thumbs up this is a Tommy Bahama sweater which I think is really cool maybe sweatshirt it's a very interesting mix of knitting but also like more of a sweatshirt feel it could use some sweater shaving I personally like sweater shaving and I have a really good sweater shaver so I don't really mind when things are pilled there's the logo and then here is the Tommy Bahama logo as well in a size large so a men's size large and then we also have this really interesting contrast between like the sweatshirt material and then like what I was mentioning this more knit kind of accent going throughout the piece it's a great blue color, pretty great condition, and this is 96% cotton, 4% polyester. So a really nice sweater, and I sold one recently, I think for between 35 and 50 bucks. For in the bins, for about a dollar or two, can't beat it. Love the Goodwill outlet, it is the best place. And I thought that was a nice piece. So hopefully, hopefully around 35 to 50, and hopefully too after I sweater shave it, it will look pristine. So the two bags that I have are very different. I did find this kind of amazing tote from Harrods, which is a nice brand. It has a zipper across the top, and it has these kind of, I would say, faux leather straps. Then the very London-esque sights across the bottom. I love how this looks. I think it's so pretty. I love the sights. And I sold another Harrods bag that I found in the bins. Um, for probably I think like $25 but that was small it was like a little cosmetics case this is a nice size tote and Harrods is a very popular UK based brand I'm pretty sure now I'm second guessing everything I know about Harrods but it's a really nice brand it kind of similar to like a Bloomingdale's is what I gather and I think this is gonna do really well I'm hopeful to resell this at least for around like 35 to 50 bucks and it's a great size Pretty good condition, has a few um, marks from being in the bins, I think, in all of the hard good bins. But I thought that was so beautiful and really, really a fun pattern to it. So grabbed her and she is so light. I probably paid less than a dollar for her. And then the other bag that I picked up was a classic coach bag. Now this is a hobo style from them, how this kind of pulls like this together. And it's in there more like, not old school but a little older monogram print it's a nice brown and black combo and then I love this detailing on the metal at the front here I think it's so pretty I believe this is older from coach and it's in really pretty good condition from being older we have a leather strap with adjustability as well and then we do have the coach logo on the inside as well so I will look up what this style goes for. I will do a reverse image search on most coach bags. It just makes my life a lot easier. But for most coach that I find in the bins, I usually resell at around 50 bucks. So a great bag and in good condition other than the bottom that I just now noticed. So I will try to also wash it. We'll have fun doing that. But that was such a good find, I think, even if I do have to do a little bit of cleaning on it. So those are the pieces that I found in the bins today, but I am planning on going to the bins tomorrow too. So I will take you guys thrifting with me there. If you haven't been, live vicariously through me, get a feel for the bins and then try it out for yourself. They're so cheap and it's such a great way to source inventory. 
I love to go. But thank you guys so much for watching this haul. Let me know down below which piece was your favorite. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.